If your worst nightmare is having your body taken over by another life form, then watch no further. Because in this video, we will meet the parasitic botfly that bursts through human skin. Oh, oh my god. god. The botfly is part of a family of flies known as Ostridae, which have a distinct trait. Like a creature straight out of a horror film, these flies lay parasitic larvae which infect warm-blooded animals, including humans. The baby larva will stay inside the host's body until it's mature enough to spring from the flesh of its host, and continue on to the next step of its life journey. The adult botfly, also known by other innocent sounding names like the warble fly, gadfly, or heel fly, can be about a half inch to an inch long, usually with dense yellow hair. They often resemble bumblebees. These flies can be found throughout the Americas and have a short adult lifespan of 9 to 12 days. This very brief lifespan is due to the fact that adult botflies do not have functional mouthparts. Therefore, they are unable to feed and survive. Basically, they are born for no other purpose but to mate, reproduce, and die. Botflies deposit eggs on a host, or sometimes use an intermediate vector such as a common housefly, mosquitoes, and, in the case of D. hominis, a species of tick. After mating, the female botfly captures the phoretic insect by holding onto its wings with her legs. She then makes the slip, attaching 15 to 30 eggs onto the insect or arachnid's abdomen where they incubate. The fertilized female does this over and over again to distribute the 100 to 400 eggs she produces in her short adult stage of life. Larvae from these eggs, stimulated by the warmth and proximity of a large mammal host, drop onto its skin and burrow underneath. Intermediate vectors are often used. Since a number of animal hosts recognize the approach of a botfly and flee, Eggs are deposited on larger animals' skin directly, or the larvae hatch and drop from the eggs attached to the intermediate vector. The body heat of the host animal induces hatching upon contact or immediate proximity. Some forms of botfly also occur in the digestive tract, after ingestion by licking. Once the immature botfly larva lands on the unsuspecting host, the larva will burrow beneath the host's skin through the wound from the mosquito bite, or through hair follicles or other crevices in the body. It uses its hooked mouthparts to create a breathing hole, so it can stay alive inside its host. The larva will stay under the flesh of the host for up to three months, all the while eating and growing, and causing increased inflammation around its excavation spot. At this stage, the larva feeds on the host body's reaction to it, known as exudate. There are various types of botflies, like the horse botfly, gasterophilus intestinalis, or the rodent botfly, Cutarebra cunuculi, which get their names from the animals they typically choose to infest. Some species grow inside their host's flesh, while others grow inside their guts. But the most dreaded botfly species of all, at least for us people, is the human botfly, referred to by its Latin name, Dermatobia hominis. It is the only species of botfly known to infect human beings, though other species of flies besides the botfly have been known to cause meiasis, the medical term for insect infestations inside the body of a mammal. The human botfly is commonly found in Central and South America, where it goes by a variety of monikers including Torsalo, Mucha, and Yura. There have been countless vacation horror stories where tourists discover lumps on their bodies called warbles, where a botfly larva has burrowed inside. Its larva has little fangs and is covered in tiny spines which make them difficult to remove from the host body. But, believe it or not, the botfly's parasitic life cycle is not a sinister plan to invade an animal and ultimately take over its soul. It's merely a survival tactic for the insect. Botfly larvae are not lethal to their host. In fact, 
the wounds around the hole dug up by the botfly larva will heal up completely within a few days or weeks after its exit from the makeshift skin hole. But the baby botfly's journey into adulthood does not end there. Within hours of leaving its host, the larva turns into a puparium, a bizarre non-feeding, still cocoon-like stage of the botfly's development. At this point, the insect has encased itself and sprouted two tufts which enable the dormant critter to breathe. The baby botfly pupates like this until finally, after two warm weeks inside its self-made cocoon, a fully grown botfly emerges. And that's it! Now you've gotten acquainted with the hideous life cycle of the botfly, a real-life alien. While it isn't deadly, it's deadly gross. At the end of this video, I'll let you relax with a clip of sheep. Hope this beautiful video will help you forget what you just watched. Don't worry, no more botfly will appear. Unless you want to look up some more info about them. Anyways, we'll see you in the next one. Have a good one!